finally getting around to this repair for a friend. I only fix things for friends because you only do this for people you like because doing it for people you hate, you want to charge them a serious amount of money. And I'm going to tell you exactly why. I have to replace these two little components here. Simple task, right? You know, one, two, three, four. Well, why do I have to replace them? Um, Phantom power is stuck on. So there's this switch that comes in here. This goes to ground. This fires, current flows. 48 volts. Uh, but one of these two is dead. This all works. This is a, like a voltage doubler kind of circuit, I think. Because I think this is 48 volts. 48. So... These two are dead. I digress. But to get these two out, look, I gotta take the PCB out. One screw, two screw, three, four, five, six. Can't get to it from the bottom. Gotta take the whole front panel off. Gotta take all the knobs off. Uh, back plate is, you know, the PCB is part of this. So these nitric connectors, I don't know if you've ever dealt with them. But they're inside there, deep within. There's a little, there's a, there's the fourth pin. So this little pin here is actually a, um, it's actually a screw. It's not a, um, it's not a, it's not a pin pin. It's a screw. And what it allows it to do is it allows this nitric back piece to separate. Hugely mechanical. Look, you've got fasteners underneath this chunk of iron, make sure that doesn't work, it doesn't move. Lots of different fasteners and and stuff and this little ribbon cable that's kind of tucked in there. So my plan of attack is to actually hit it from the top. So I'm going to try to break these off and do this repair from the top. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get footage of that, but what I'm going to do is uh, i got to figure out which which is which which, so this is Q13. According to the schematic, which should be the most accurate thing, is an MPS8599, which is a weird, obscure um, FET. I think it's a FET. 